mom is. Oh no, her mom is getting freaking desperate to get it with him. Alright. It's a mess. Well, um. Last night, I think, was the start. Oh my god. Oh my god, you still love her! Keep your voice down, people might be asleep. I don't want the whole neighborhood hearing you. I guess part of me does still love her. I'm sorry for that. I mean, if I could rip out that little bit of me that feels that way for her, I would. Did you take this? What are you doing? I don't need it anymore. Take it, take it, take it, take it. No, please leave. I never lied when I said that. Boo. Everybody. Um. If y'all can see me not, probably not. I don't, I don't know. It's hard to, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I'm getting ready to, to wash some dishes. Um, I guess Chrissy is, uh, still. Sleeping. Um, your mom is supposed to be coming over to, today. Good morning. You want some, um, breakfast? You know, I haven't been really eating a lot. 
Get kind of worried about you. Your mom is going to be over this afternoon. Are you up for being on camera? I'm gonna wash up these dishes. This is what it is all the time. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know. But we are all getting very irritated right now by the still no dang work from him. Really? Don't get it. Don't get it. Her mom is. I don't know. Her mom is getting freaking desperate to get it with him. All right. It's a mess. He's not taking anybody's calls. Sorry, I'm, I'm washing dishes. You may not can even see me. Um. He's uh. I don't know how much y'all can see of me right now. I mean, my self is sick, but I don't feel like going to get it. Anyway, he's not taking anybody's calls. I mean, you know, I mean, he won't even answer when I call. So, uh, um, I don't know. He's just being a real, he's just being a real jerk right now. And her mama is about to, I don't know. She's, she's, uh, sorry if the water's loud, um, I don't know, he won't answer, I don't get it, I mean, yeah, we know he needs time, again, I'm tired of repeating myself, and I know everybody's probably tired of hearing this, but, again, if he needs time, it looks like he would at least want to communicate with me, at least let me know how he's doing, I mean, I can understand him not wanting to, to, you know, be around, um, I mean, not won't answer her mama's calls because, you know, he knows that she's going to blow him out. But, um, he, you know, could at least answer whenever I call. And that's what's making us mad is that he, I mean, yeah, he needs time, but he don't know how bad Chrissy is. I mean, we're having a hard time getting her to eat. I mean, you saw her. She won't come out. I mean, it's. It's getting, it's, you know, how much longer is this going to go on? Because, you know, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just a mess right now. I wish that dang ex of his had never, ever, oh. And the weird thing about it is, is that her mama has been to his work and he won't there. And he was supposed to have been there because she went like that afternoon and she didn't even see his truck there. Um, and she said something about, um, trying to go by there this morning, but she's just tied down with the grandma. You know, with her mama. So anyway, I don't know y'all. I don't know. All I know is that um, I'm I'm really ticked off with him. I just, I mean, he don't know what Chris is going through. I mean, I know he's got to be thinking about her. I mean, you know, I mean, we just don't know. We just want to know, you know, how much longer time he's gonna be. You know, I mean. I don't know. I mean, I, I know that when people need time away from someone, it can be a while, but the fact is we're just worried about Chrissy, and we just need to 
and we just need to know. I don't know. Maybe we're maybe we're worrying him to death or something. I don't know. But we're just worried about Chrissy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And I mean, his mama. I mean, her mama has told him on voice message that Chris ain't doing good, that she's worried about her, but he still ain't calling. Oh. A bunch of mess is what it is. I mean, you know, enough is enough. I just don't know. I hope you ain't get that dang girl, that ex of his. Anyway, it's this is uh more was probably really loud and i don't know how much you can see me probably not much i'm hoping that um, i'm gonna have to edit this out and i don't want my head to be cut off but um I'll just let y'all know what's going on I and mean, her mama's going to be over here this afternoon um she said sometime after lunch i think mama she's at work and i got to get chrissy to eat something I mean, she's not, I don't know. I can't, let me get this dish now. I'm going to get this dish right here in. Oh, hit something. I'm going to turn off the water. Okay, get my camera. Oh, it probably sounds better to y'all, huh? Try to get her to eat a piece of toast or something. Seriously. Okay. What I said, y'all. I don't know. I hope y'all were able to hear me just now. But I, I really um hope that um that, that's something that we I don't know. Maybe she needs to go by his work again. I don't, I don't know. So I'm gonna go and finish getting these dishes done and see if, try to see if she wants a piece of toast or something. I'll see everybody later. Good morning, bye bye. <coughs> Good morning. I'd like to be to work soon. Um, well, I could always take you home, I guess. Maybe no problem. Um, <coughs> I, I really don't want her to know about us. She'll, she'll just lecture, lecture me about me cheating on you, and I don't, I don't want to deal with it. Um, so, well, this friend, um, why don't you and her get along? I don't know, she's just, uh, I don't know, I just, we just don't get along. I'm only staying with her because I really have no other place to go. I see. <clears throat> where, where do you live? Like what town? Burgall. Oh. 
Well, I guess I wouldn't be able to take you home anyway because uh, it's kind of a long way. Sorry. <laughs> I really enjoyed last night with you. Um, our night together was, you know, we, we talked about everything that we could think of and even had a few laughs in. I'm sorry that you, um, that it all had to end because of your headache. Yeah, um, it was a pretty bad one probably because I hadn't drank like that in a while. <laughs> and, um, when you fell asleep, I, I rubbed your head <laughs> like I used to. I, um, <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to sleep with you. In time. Well, um, last night, I think, was a start. I, I want to know where, where we stand. I don't know. <sighs> My heart is, um, still torn. And I hate it. I hate it. I know I, <clears throat> I know I have to make a decision soon. <sighs> have you talked to Chrissy? No. I... No, I... Mm -mm. And I feel guilty. And I feel guilty. I, I feel... I feel guilty. I just... Needed... Time to figure things out. Well, um, well, can you at least tell me what the percentage chance is of us getting back together? Twenty-five percent. Because I don't trust you. I know. I 
know, and, and I work on that as hard as I can, Bobo, believe me. I mean, I, I love you, and I'll do anything to, to, to prove to you that you can trust me again. Mm. Trust is a very important thing, and that's something that we just don't have. Um, do you think that we could, um, hang out after I get off work tonight? I mean, you can even come pick me up at my work. I get off at 10. Okay. We, um, we, um, we gotta get out of here. Um, I, I need a shower. Yeah, I, I could use a shower. <laughs> I mean, why are you just going to stay here? I mean, I'm going to lock the place up now. And I'm taking the key with me. I got to take a... We got to get going. I mean, I, I got to take a quick shower. We'll go to the hotel. I'll take a quick shower. And you can just tell her to pick you up at the hotel. But I'll have to go ahead and leave for work. That's fine. Yeah, I... I'll just sit out in the lobby and, and wait for... Yeah, that'll work out. That, that'll work out great. I've really missed you, and I know that us sleeping on this one little blanket with a comforter wasn't that comfortable, but to me, it was. Uh, um, uh, where's the bathroom around here? Outside. In the woods. There's some toilet paper right over there. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I'm going to go step outside and I'll use the bathroom. I really got to pee. Okay. If that's the case, I'll, I'll give you this stock tag. No. You keep it. So you always know that I love you. She loved you since the day you were born. I remember when I let her hold you and you know what she told me she said I'm gonna marry him <laughs> I 
I know that you're not able to love from about five years ago. I know that girl hurts bad. And um, believe me, I wanted to, to beat the crap out of her for what she did to you. And I know that, that since then, you I, I know all about you, but, but I, I understand and know that you'd just rather be by yourself, be alone. And... I'm, I'm thankful that you have your mama's family up there in the mountains for you to spend time with in the summer. But have you ever thought about maybe just trying to let go? Try to move on? Because, um, I think that's what Chrissy wants you to do. Trying to let go of the past. No matter what, you know, she'll always be in love with you. She'll always have that special place for you. Your mom says I saved your life. I do love you. No, you were going to marry me one day. Well, well, I am about to make your childhood dream come true. Chrissy, Chrissy, Jane, Henderson. Will you marry me? I think I'm going to faint. Yes, I'll marry you. It's taking her a long time to pee. Oh my god. Hello. Hello. Hello.